Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, please like and subscribe so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting the chance to know me. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing what I'm about today. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Thank you so much for taking the time out to show me support once again and coming to see about my video. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you too. And thank you so much for the love and support. And today I'm listening to um, this, this relaxing, beautiful nature sounds, um, calming music, meditation, relaxing music, music for sleep. They said it's the best results on listening to it when you have headphones on and reduce the volume or whatever. But I think it's very relaxing just to listen to, you know, it's just like, you know, when you go outside and do uh sky gazing or whatever you want to call it i love doing that because it seems so peaceful but today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas don't force it go with the flow don't force it go with the flow i had to keep telling myself that mess this week you know and it's just like because i'm not even gonna lie to you y'all um i was thinking about quitting doing youtube because it was just so many things that was going on. And it had nothing to do with y'all. But it was just so many things I was going through in life. And it just seemed like, you know, when is when is enough going to be enough? You know, when is the blessing going to come here? And I had to just basically tell myself, you know what? Um, life doesn't really owe you anything. It's just like, you know, it was enough just to have you here. But just know that you have a purpose in life. And even though my dad has left me things or whatever, or he wanted these things for me, um, and people were trying to, you know, keep me out of the limelight or just keep me away, you know, I was just trying to understand why, you know, why when I try to push out so much positivity, you know, um, these things happen. And I had to keep telling myself, you know, they don't owe you anything. Life does not owe you anything. You actually can look at life and just be grateful for the little blessings you get so that's when God will replace those little blessings with the big ones and I had to step back you know I had to step back because I was just like you know I was blessed the fact is I had like three or four videos already uploaded so that can give me the you know that gave me the time to contemplate you know do I still want to do this you know um do I want to keep going on I just felt like I wanted to give up because so many things were going on and I, you know, and I try to preach so much, you know, don't give up before the finish line, you know, and I felt bad because I'm like, you know, I'm telling these people to believe in these things themselves, but I can't even tell myself to do this when this jacked up stuff is happening. So I had to just take back and, you know, do a boo or whatever. And I said, you know what, you have to just go with the flow. You can't force things to happen when you want them to happen for you, you know, and it's just like, you can't, you know, I was watching Infinite Waters. And that's how I started getting my videos, wanting to do motivational speaking. He inspired me to want to do things like that. And, you know, he was saying, you know, the universe, when you can go about life knowing that the universe owes you nothing. When you sit up here and you don't, um, you know, dwell on the missed opportunities. Just know there's more opportunities out there for you. And it's maybe that one wasn't right for you at that time because you knew there was more things that you need, needed to learn. And it wasn't your time for it to be you know it wasn't that time to be ready so you had to keep going through your lessons you had to you have to appreciate your mishaps you have to appreciate your downfalls you have to appreciate all those things so when those lessons come along and you know things presents itself to you you know how to better prepare yourself because it's just like you know when you force things things don't don't it'll, it'll be, end up being short-lived for you so it's just like I had to keep telling myself, enjoy the ride, enjoy the ride. And I had to, you know, get on my knees and pray. And, you know, I, I, you know, when things popped off saying, you know, things were being said to me <clears throat> that were very hurtful and, 
you know, and it was just really messed up. And I was just like, you know, God, if there is God, why would he allow these things to happen? But in actuality, it was me bringing those things on because of my negative thinking and stuff like that. So I had to learn those things for myself and just basically apologize to God and the universe for being angry because that wasn't their fault. It was something I put myself in. Those were the things that I decided to do when I had that gut feeling not to do it and I did it anyway. And then I can't be upset of the outcome because I pushed that on myself. So it's just like, you know, I can't dwell on those things. So it's just like when you're going through things and, you know, I had, it got to that point where I used to always think about, you know, maybe if I, you know, when I talked to, you know, my father back when I was 15, if I would have said my name, you know, I wouldn't have had the problems I have right now. Or maybe if, you know, if I would spoke up and actually went to my family's house when they invited me over there, you know, even when I was scared to go over there and didn't know what they had going on. You know, I would have these problems, but then I wouldn't have learned all these things, you know, and when I asked God for that sign, next thing you know, I open up my, my YouTube account and I see all these beautiful comments with people saying they want to share my, you know, my video with my, their daughters or, you know, um, that I need to keep sending this blessing out. You know, people are not sure about what they were until they see my videos and it, it just really humbles me. And I was just like, this is the sign I'm, I'm having. This is the sign. And the next thing you know, I was watching this video, uh, video clip with Jesse Smollett from Empire and Fetty Wap. And it was a song called Father and the Son. And basically, it was just talking about him getting beat down and he feels this fire growing inside of him that was God's sign. And it came when nobody wasn't looking. And just know that glory, you know, that day of glory is coming. So it was just like I was seeing so many signs left and right to let me know I was on this right path. But you have to go with the flow, enjoy that ride. Don't force anything. You have to be able to, you know, accept, you know, like I've said before in many videos, you have to look at life as a nature walk. And I had to tell myself that it's a nature walk and appreciate, you know, the, the squirrels and the bunnies and the birds and the bees. You have to appreciate everything that, you, that approaches you in life. And when you can't appreciate those things, you can't be able to appreciate the big things because you'll miss out on all the other things that you need to soak up along the way. So it's just like, I'm not trying to hold you up, you know, it's just like when you're going on your journey, don't force anything, don't force anything on yourself, don't force anything in life, things will come when they're supposed to come, things will gradually fall in your lap when they're supposed to, and stay positive, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity and you, your frequency low, and you see somebody else help raise it to the roof. And I will keep you in my prayers, and most definitely I hope you do the same for me. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. Drop me a line or two. I'd love to get a chance to get a positive feedback or even get just a chance to know you as much as you're learning to know about me. And I will see you on my next video. Peace and be wild.